Well, hello there. Welcome to a new video. This video is going to be a collection video. Um, I have been kind of promising this video for a while. I apologize for that. Um, mainly because I wanted to, I was trying to figure out which collection exactly I wanted to uh, showcase. So, so this new collection video will be showing you my current Sony handheld collection. Ergo the PSP and PS Vita. Yes, I have both. So, uh, with that said, hope you guys just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the video. It's probably going to be a bit long. We shall see. First up, I'm going to do the PSP. So, first up, the third birthday. Um, what I've played a bit so far, which is not much, only like a couple hours. Um, it's fine. I'm enjoying it. Um, I know those who are big into this into this franchise, this Par the Parasite Eve franchise, um, most would say that they really don't really care for this game. And some do, some don't. It's it depends who you ask. But mostly that I've seen is people who don't really care for it. But from what I've played, like I said, it's it's okay. Next, hmm. Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. Um, I did enjoy, I really did enjoy this game, for the most part. Um, I'm a big fan of this franchise, as people know. And um, I would, I wish that um, Altair got more games. Um, he only has three, technically. Um, he has the first game. He has this game. And he has a game on uh, the DS. And then, he, of course, he's in. Revelations for a bit, but I would like to see and get a couple other main, well, not, well, main, main, you know, games where he's the main character, basically. But overall, I enjoyed it. Um, if you're a fan of the franchise and you have yet to play it, I'd recommend it for sure. So, next, Bounty Hounds. Um, I believe I saw this on a Metal Jesus, Metal Jesus Rocks uh, Hidden Gems video, and it looked interesting enough that I uh, went ahead and put it on the list. I eventually bought it for cheap, so I've not played it. So all I know is, like I said, it looked from what I saw on his video, it looked interesting enough. So next up, <clears throat> Coded Arms. This is a Pretty damn good uh, first-person shooter on the PSP. Uh, most first-person shooters will have you use the face buttons as a way to basically be your makeshift second thumbstick. And that actually works pretty well for the most part in this. So I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to getting the sequel at some point. So Next. <clears throat> Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Um, this is a basically a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. Um, I enjoyed it, for the most part. Um, I'm not a huge Final Fantasy VII fan. I do like it, but it's just not my favorite franchise. But overall, pretty good. Um, I still need to eventually play the um, remake slash remaster on PS5, which I'll be doing that soonish. I'm waiting to get another game first. But, uh, yeah. Next. Daxter. Um, this is a surprisingly good 3D platformer on the console. Or handheld. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, it was pretty... I was surprised how much this was good. Um, I believe it takes place in between 2 and 3. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And uh, you're just playing as... Uh, Daxter, and you're, you're basically, you're, I, I remember, you're basically, you're being an exterminator, trying to, like, I, it's been, like I said, it's been a while, I remember you're basically being an exterminator, and you're trying to get back to Jack, or rescue Jack, I can't remember which, but, um, overall, it's pretty good, and pretty cheap, too, I think I got it, 
pretty sure I got it either off Amazon or eBay, brand new for like, it was like $10 or so, give or take, so. Next up, um, Death of Jumir. I have not played this yet. Um, it's another 3D platformer, but um, it looks very unique in its uh, design. It reminds me a lot of uh, Nightmare, Before, like, Nightmare Before Christmas. So, um, yeah, like I said, it looks really unique. So that's why I wanted to get it. Uh, there's a sequel. I'll be getting that at some point. Next. Uh, Dragoneer's Aria. This is a Japanese uh, turn-based RPG. I believe it's Japanese. Well, I know it's a turn-based RPG. I know that. Um, I saw it in uh, another uh, Metal Jesus Rocks in Gems video. And again, it looked interesting enough to make me Put it on the list. So, yeah. Next, Final Fantasy Tactics: uh, The War of the Lions. I believe, which I can be wrong. I believe this is a remake of the original Tactics game on PS One. Uh, my buddy Dale would know would know for sure. He's the Final Fantasy nerd of the group. But um, even if it's not, even if it's its own thing, it's a damn good game. I'm not, I'm not huge into tactics. I like it, but it's not my main genre. But yeah, this is a pretty damn good Final Fantasy game, for sure. So. And next we have Killzone Liberation. Um, it's not a, it's not a first-person shooter. It's like this third-person isometric type game. I need to, I need to really kind of dig my teeth into it, because I only played like maybe... 20 minutes of it just to a see if it would play and b just to kind of just see what exactly it was like so uh, i need to get back to it eventually but uh some people from what i remember some people like it some people don't so see where i fall when i finally you know play it and all that so next lord of arcana i believe this is a I believe this is a predecessor to another game I'll be showing you shortly. I don't think, but I'm not positive. Um, if I remember, it's basically like Monster Hunter, kind of, only uh, you're fighting demons instead. So, but yeah, from what I did play a little bit of it, um, it's, it's alright. So. Next. Lord of the Rings Tactics. Um, I know I just said I wasn't a big tactics fan. Tactics person. Here's another tactics game. <laughs> um, but no, I had this when I had my first PSP. And I really did enjoy it for the most part. Um, it's not like super intuitive. But for what it is, it's interesting enough. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I liked it when I had it the first time. And I wanted to get it again when I had my new PSP. So... It's definitely, if you're into Lord of the Rings, like tactics, or something different enough to give a shot, I'd say give this a shot. So. Next, <clears throat> next up, Mega Man Powered Up. Uh, this is a, I believe, this is a remake of the first game, I believe. Um, I'm not a huge Mega Man fan. I like it. But it's not my, again, it's not my go-to franchise. But uh, this was still pretty damn good. So, and it, it was cheap. Now it's kind of, I mean, it's not super expensive, but it's in, in the middle. Next up, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Damn good uh, Ratchet and Clank game on the system. Um, this was basically built from the ground up for the PSP, and you can definitely tell, it, it's damn good. It was amazing to see what they were able to do and squeeze out of the PSP with this. So, I enjoyed it. Next up, Resistance Retribution. Um, pretty good, pretty, 
pretty good game. Um, I do like the Resistance franchise. I'd like to see it come back and be kind of give a new type of flavor to the first person shooter genre. Uh, this is not first person, this is third person, so throw you off a little bit. But um, overall, it's not, it's not terrible. Um, I believe this takes place between two and three, but I'm not positive. But yeah, it's decent. Next up, Silent Hill, Shattered Memories. This is basically kind of a, sort of a remake of the first game, kind of. Um, I see many people, many people are either in the, they love this, they love it camp, or they hate it camp. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to fall yet, maybe in the middle, but uh, from what I've played of it, it's okay. Not that I'm not that far into it, but um, what I've played, it's fine. Next, Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron, all the Battlefront games. Um, this one has a pretty decent and uh, unique story, so uh, I've enjoyed it for the most part. Same with this one, Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron. Basically, it's basically Elite and Renegade are kind of the same game. The Elite focuses more on the Imperial side. Renegade, obviously, Rebel side, so, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, pretty good. I'm sorry, it's late and I'm very tired. Well, not very tired, it's just tired. Next and last, uh, PSP game here, Star Wars Lethal Alliance. Um, I only played maybe like an hour of it, and uh, it's, it's okay. I need to really get back to it and kind of not grit my teeth, but really just really dive deep into it. So, uh, yeah. Now on to PS Vita. First up, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Um, a pretty alright um, Assassin's Creed game on the Vita. Um, it's much more in line of the older games, like Revelations 3, uh, maybe a little bit of 2. Um, so if you're not a fan of the older Assassin's Creed games, you probably won't like this. But if you want to give it a try, it has been ported over to like the PS3, 360, the PS4, Xbox One, I think was included with the uh, Assassin's Creed 3 remastered uh, game they did a while, a while ago. So... Uh, there are other options to giving this game a shot besides the beta, but uh, it's okay. Next, <clears throat> Batman Arkham Origins Black Eight. This is a 2.5D sort of Metroidvania beat 'em up type conglomerate game. Um, it's some a lot of people don't like it. I'm somewhat in the middle of it, it's okay at best. So. Next. Child of Light. Um, I really need to get back to this RPG eventually. Um, it's pretty neat. It's, I'm, when I, before I stopped playing it, I remember enjoying it a lot. Um, so. What's funny is that for the longest time, the Vita version was the only uh, physical copy of this game. Um, since then, it's got a physical on the Switch, sort of. It's part of a collection. It's this it's um, this game and another game uh, from Ubisoft. I can't remember which game exactly, but um, the Vita version is like... An, actually, I've not played the Switch version, so I could be wrong. But from what I played, the Vita version is the definitive version, at least in my opinion. So Next... Drive Girls. Um, I don't remember. I believe this is like a hack and slash type, uh, hack and slash and beat em up type game. Uh, and you're basically playing as girls who transform into cars. Weird. Very Japanese like, but 
when it came out or when it was announced. It was like, oh, a new PS Vita game, and it looked, it looks interesting enough. Fuck it, I'll get it. Basically, the selling point. But, but I remember it was, it was alright. Next, Freedom Wars, a uh, JRPG. Uh, it's kind of like Persona a little bit. But um, basically, you it, it, again, it's like also like Monster Hunter. It's like Monster Hunter and Persona, and uh, you basically have to go out and fight these monsters to lessen. Um, you're basically, if I remember, you are basically arrested. You're gonna like, you know, millions of years. Maybe not millions, being the strong word, but you're getting basically a lot of jail time, basically, and in order to get out of jail, you have to go and hunt and fight these monsters and machines, from what I remember. Um, it was pretty, it was alright. I enjoyed it for the most part, but um, the main thing I don't like about it, and this is for all the Japanese games on the Vita, well not, well, not full Japanese, but you know what I mean, there's no English um, dub, which kind of annoys me. I, I know some people are very much pro uh, and just having the Japanese voice voice acting and English dub English subs I get that but I would have liked I, having the option is not terrible you know it shouldn't be a bad idea to have the option so but yeah it's it's decent next God of War collection this is God of War 1 and 2 I want you to say they are they are classic games. On the Vita, they play pretty damn good. So next, Injustice: Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. Um, I like the Injustice games, and uh, I just wanted something fighty on the Vita. Yeah, so yeah. I want you to say on that. Next. The Jack and Dexter trilogy. I found this on eBay, uh, so I just and bought it because um, it was the UK version is or the PAL version is cheaper than the American version, and uh, yeah. So I just wanted to get. I wanted this on the Vita, but I figured I'd get the cheaper version. So but yeah, it's Jack and Dexter trilogy. They all they all play pretty decently on the Vita, so. I recommend it for sure. Next, Kill Zone Mercenary. This is the definitive game on the console, in my opinion. Uh, it's a great, amazing first person shooter. And I'm not that huge into, into uh, Kill Zone. I like it. Again, but um, this is just really damn good. So, uh, if you are looking for it, I'd recommend getting it sooner rather than later. Because a lot of these Vita games are. Going up in price, which sucks. Next, mm. Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. This is Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. Not the biggest Metal Gear fan. Um, a lot of people say this runs like shit on the Vita. Uh, I, don't, I haven't really run at anything like game breaking, so I, I don't know. But um, overall, it's it's okay. Like I said, not the biggest Metal Gear fan, but um, still decent little collection to have. And it's, I guess there's going to be a new collection coming soon. Obviously not on the Vita, but like for PS5, for Xbox One, Series X, Switch. Supposedly there's some kind of new collection in the works. So, but yeah. Next. Mm. Minecraft uh, PlayStation Vita Edition. This is the PAL version that I got from my mom's friend for Christmas the one year. Um, mainly because the U.S. version, which pissed me, which pissed me, which pissed me off when I found this out, I was so annoyed. The U.S. version of this game was a voucher in a box. I hate when companies do that. That is annoying. As being a person who likes physical media, who collects physical media, at least for games and movies, telling me or asking me to spend. I think it was 20, I think it was 20 when it came out, pretty sure, asking me to spend $20 on basically a box, the code, 
is fucking stupid. Just beyond stupid. So when I found out that the PAL version of this was an actual cartridge, I asked my mom, hey, can you ask your friend to get this for me by chance? Because I really want to play it, and I want to actually have it physically, because the US version is, stu is being stupid. And uh, thankfully, she asked, and her friend said, yeah, sure, why not? Well, yeah, sure, I can. So, uh, but yeah, it's Minecraft. I've not played it in a long time, but uh, it's Minecraft. Everybody and, their, everybody and their mother knows what Minecraft is. So, next, Mortal Kombat. Um, this is basically just a port of MK9, and it's the complete version. So it has all the DLC characters. It's pretty damn good, just like Injustice. It was a pretty good port. So, it's funny, it's, um, uh, I had my first copy of this um, I was at my mom's. Um, it was not long before she passed, unfortunately. But um, I was playing playing this. I was working on a uh, couple challenge towers. And uh, I was taking a little bit of a break. And uh, at the beginning of the game, when it says press start, or the main menu, should I say, um, if you don't press start right away, a video will play of just a random fight. And uh, I was playing, and um, the cat, my cat that we had gotten, Felicity, uh, she was kind of she was laying down by me on the floor, and uh, she was just watching the fight. It was kind of funny, but overall pretty good port for sure. Next, uh, Muramasa Rebirth. Um, this is a really good um, 2D hack and slash game. It looks really beautiful. I believe it's I'm pretty sh pretty sure it's. Um, by Vanillaware that they worked on this. They always use, they always have great and pretty damn good uh, art style for their games. So it's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. We did want to go back and play it again, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Next, Ragnarok Odyssey, um, another JRPG. Um, I've not played it just yet. Um, I remember hearing that it was, it was that it was pretty good, but um, until I played it myself, I don't know. But uh, I know there was kind of a Game of the Year type version called Ragnarok Odyssey Ace that had like some of the DLC that was released, but that um, I said that they were the main vanilla uh, version because I believe that the Ragnarok Odyssey Ace version only ha had the DLC on a code. Which not a big fan of that either. So, uh, but yeah. Next, mm. Shino, Shino Bido 2 Revenge of Zen. Um, it, I've only played uh, like a very little, little of this, and uh, mainly it was from like the demo. <laughs> but it's like a sort of like a stealth Tenchu Ninja Gaiden type game, if I remember. But, um, like so I, I enjoyed the demo when I played it, so I wanted to get it. Found it um, at a GameStop complete, surprisingly. So, uh, yeah. Next. Silent Hill Book of Memories. This is a... Oh, it's by Way Forward. I don't even know that. Um, this is basically a Silent Hill Diablo, Diablo game. Um, when I played it the first time, I thought it was kind of... Meh. But having gone back to it, it's it's not the greatest, but at the same time, it's it's in the middle for me. But uh, if you were mildly interested, I'd say try to try to find a copy of it. Um, but yeah. Next, mm, Soul Sacrifice. This is the I believe this is the spiritual sequel to. Uh, Lord of, Lord of Volcano, so uh, it's basically kind of the same same thing as that game. So uh, kind of like Monster Hunter, both teams. From what I recall. Next, Tearaway. Uh, pretty deep. Uh, this game definitely showcased what the Vita can do for sure, 
and it's pretty fun. Pretty uh, if you like games like uh, Little Big Planet, I'd say definitely give this a, ch a look at. Um, maybe by the same uh, same developers, uh, Media, Media Molecule. Media Molecule. I can't say that word. The people who did Little Big Planet did this. Um, it's also a PS4 version as well. So. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, not my favorite fighting franchise, but um, still pretty good. And the Vita version is surprisingly pretty well. Um, so, But it, of course, is also on PS3. And it was released on PS4 and Xbox One and Xbox 360 as well. So you have your options. Next. Mm -hmm. Uncharted Golden Abyss, a uh, pretty good Uncharted game on the go, to be honest. Um, uh, it's a prequel to the first game, I believe. I know it's a prequel. I don't know if it's exactly to the first game or like in between two and three or whatever. But um, it's not bad. Uh, definitely a good uh, game on the go. Next, he's mm. Origin. Uh, this was actually my first. Uh, a bit of run purchase. Um, it's pretty good, uh, pretty good RPG. I enjoyed it. Or enjoyed it. Excuse me. So he's eight, seven, nine, or seven. Excuse me. Uh, he's seven, eight. Damn it, damn it. He's eight. Damn it. La Lacrimos of Donna. Um, this was my most, not recent, but this was the last, like, PS Vita game I picked up. Um, it was, uh, I got it brand new off Amazon, I believe. And uh, I've not touched it yet. But since then, it's been ported. It's on PS4, PS5, Switch. So, we have options. Yeah. And finally, the last PS Vita game here I got. Ease Memories of Cell Septa. Um, I think this is like the fourth game in the franchise, but I'm not positive. But uh, I enjoyed it. It was it was all right. So, all right, that is it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is going to be a long one, so uh, hope you guys just enjoy it. Um, I do have two more videos coming. I might try to record those now, or I might do them tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But yeah. I will see you soon with a new video.